I found a love for me well, Darling, just dive right in well, Follow my lead well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I But underneath my breath But you heard it Darling, you look perfect tonight Well, I found a woman Stronger than anyone I know She shares my dreams I hope that someday I'll share her home
Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So good afternoon, everybody. And that's the worst good afternoon I ever heard. <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, that's great, that's great. You can just sit down now for a few minutes. Sit down. Let's take your breath there now for a minute. So we're just going to take your breath. Because I know people have been rushing there and just to get here and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to welcome you all here to the church here in Monastreven for this very happy occasion. The wedding of Aaron, Shepherd and Grania Newman. So give them a big clap. This is their day, a day that they've been planning and getting ready for for a long time now. And uh, they're neighbours of mine just around the corner, and they've been plaguing me, coming up to me with all kinds of uh, questions as regards that wedding, and now at last it's arrived. So introduce me to your parents there, Grania. Brian and Patty. Very pleased to meet you, Brian. Very pleased to meet you. Just give me the elbow there now. Good to meet you there. And yours there, Joseph. How are you, Joe? Give me the elbow. Take that in your hand there. Now. I don't want to get too close to the dubs because they knock you down there, you know. Um, they're, they're, they're winning all around them, so we can't kind of. Uh, so I want to introduce you, first of all, to the beautiful bridesmaid, Nuala Sheedy. Stand up there, Nuala, and do a twirl, just to say, that's the beautiful Nuala Sheedy. And uh, the best man, Martin Kyo, pity about you, Martin, but stand up there and have a look at you there now. Turn around there now. <laughs> that's Martin Kyo. And Martin is a long-time school pal of, of, of uh, yeah, so a good, old, a good old school pal. So I met him, now just see, now the Quiva and Shepherd. Where are you, Quiva? Oh, there you are, the little flower girl. Oh, isn't she? Yeah, so it's good, lovely, so it's great to have her. Grace Gibney, where's Grace? Oh, come out here, Grace. Good to see you. Oh, look at her now. Come out here, Grace, up to the front. Well done. Give Grace a big, she's one of the flower girls. Now we have two brilliant singers today. Uh, one is from Salins and the other is from Kildare. So I want to introduce you to, um, uh, well, I just get the names here now. Arlene and Gordon. Arlene is pity about you Gordon but Arlene looks gorgeous there anyway <laughs> so there there and our man here on the camera he's not listening to me Noel you're very welcome Noel this church this church is a very old church it was built at the time of the famine 1847 you might notice it was never finished because on the supposed to be spires outside but they never got to finish them probably because it was a tough time or maybe because they don't know a reason why they say that maybe the foundations wouldn't have taken it but it's a place where over the years thousands of couples have come to get married like yourselves I'll have a funeral here in the morning of a young man 50 who died with cancer who had only died yesterday, 10 past 10. And he'll be brought here tomorrow. And on Sunday, I'll have a baptism. So this is a very sacred place. A very place where, where uh, you know, it's a very holy place. A very, so many years, people have come here to do further to the Mass. So I tell you how I have to do. I have to get this couple to sign a form. 
but I want you to do is actually I got a great sense at the beginning of the mass today I met some people I met um, some people there and I have a great sense of a lively a lovely lively crowd here today and uh, uh, I met a nice few people there at the beginning of the mass the guests here today and uh, so um, I want to just like I met uh, Betty Reed and her husband there and uh, I met, uh, there's another man here I'm looking out for him. Oh, this lad here, that's him, yeah. What's his name? David, he's given the sermon. So that's why he's, the, that's why he's here today, because he's married a good few years and he knows a lot about marriage. But while I'm getting these to sign the form, you have to step out, step up, stand up. Step up, uh, yeah, no, the whole lot of you. Joe as well, Joe. Your father, what's his name? Joe, is Joe, stand up. And you have to step out into the middle and meet the crowd on the far side. So you just mix up there now. You just step out and say hello. Go across the aisle. You as well, stand up there. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up and go out there and move out. And you can step out there into the middle. And just to hold on, here as well, here as well, yeah. Just because I have to be talking to these for a few minutes. Just say hello to one another. You're on that side, just step up. didn't introduce yourselves for too long. <laughs> you know you're going to be together for the day. So as we begin our Mass now, we'll first of all start by asking God to forgive us for any sins that we've committed. No, I'm wrong. First of all, I have to ask it to light the two candles at the beginning of the Mass because that's a symbol that you come here as individuals and later on when you're married you light the one wedding candle so you have to just come up now and light the candles Now this is the remembrance candle and this one I have to ask the two grannies to light to remember all the people in your families, both families, that have passed. For the times that we've hurt others, Lord of mercy. For the times we've hurt ourselves, 
Christ of mercy. And for the times we fought God, Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and may he bring us to everlasting. Now, who's doing the first reading now then? Deirdre, where are you? Deirdre, you have to do the first reading. You come on up now. And who's doing the second? Michelle. Michelle. So you go on up to the microphone and I say the opening prayer. So this is the opening prayer. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Aaron and Grania, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Deirdre, now Deirdre, you're reading from which one? I'm reading, reading from, from the, the book, book of Ruth. Yeah, nice and short. So listen, to, this is a reading for very short, and it just tells us about, you know, wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. It reminds me years ago when lads were at the dances and said, how would you like to be buried with my people? It's a bit like that, you know? So it's just kind of a, uh, go ahead there. Okay, a reading from the book of Ruth. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God too. Wherever you die, I will die, and there shall I be buried beside you. We shall be together forever and ever, and our love will be the gift of life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Michelle, you're doing the second reading. reading. Now, Michelle, your reading is a bit harder. Because yours is all about love. <laughs> Go ahead there, Michelle. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Back a bit from the mic, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Let your love be genuine, sincerely, prefer to good to evil. Love another with perfection and have profound respect for each other. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up. Difficulties come, keep praying. This of the needs of others. Seek to be compassionate and kind humble and patient. Be tolerant with one another and be ready to forgive when one of you has a complaint about the other. The Lord forgives you, so you must do the same. Do not be overcome with evil, but overcome with good. This is the word of the Lord. So the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, will you stand for the gospel? As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Reflection there. What's your dad's name? Brian. Brian. There's a little reflection there that's very. I, I, I thought it was lovely. It's, it's towards the back of the booklet. Betty is going to read it for us at the end. So we'll all read it together now because it's one of the nicest reflections they've come across. I don't know where you got it, Brian, yeah? Google. So we'll all read it together. Maybe. Everyone together. Can you see it in the book? The back. It's after Holy Communion. It's a reflection and it says maybe and it's anonymous. What's your first name? Nula. 
we'll start off. Maybe, no, no, nice and slow. Maybe we're all stay together. Maybe we are supposed to meet the wrong people before meeting the right one. So that when we finally meet slow, the right person, we'll know how to be grateful for that gift. Maybe it's true that we don't know what we have got until we lose it. But it is also true that we don't know what we have been missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest people don't necessarily have the best of everything. To just make the most of everything that comes along their way. And just maybe the best kind of love is the kind where you can sit on a sofa together, never say a word, and then walk away feeling like it was the best conversation that you ever had. Maybe you shouldn't go for looks that can deceive. Don't go for wealth, even that fades away. Go for someone who makes you smile because it takes only a smile to make a dark day seem bright. Maybe you should hope for happiness to make you sweet, enough trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, and enough courage to make you happy. Maybe love is not about finding the perfect person. It's about learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. And when you do that, what you can love will be what you can't. That's a lovely reflection. I think that sums up everything that I wanted to say today at this wedding. Because there was a lot of talk there about love in the readings, you know. And um, I often wonder what does that mean, you know. Uh, what is love? Not being married myself, that's why I was thinking of Paul there to say a few words, because he is married. What does it mean to love another person? You know, I love... Um, uh, I love football myself. You know, I love a rasher sandwich. You know, I love, we use it all the time. I love a certain pop star. But what does it mean to really love another person? And to be honest with you, it's not easy from what I know. You know better. You know better, Joe. Isn't it, Joe? Isn't it, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patty, you know better. So what advice would you give today to this couple getting married? No, you're the wrong ones. You don't know better. The ones that know best are these two people over here. The grannies. Because they're the ones that, that are actually kind of... Show me that. They've seen life. That's the Pope. I told him not to ring. That's the Holy Father himself. I can't talk to you now. I'm doing a wedding. Okay? Pope, he never leaves me alone. Grannies, you're the ones that are talking, right? Stand up here now. What's your first name? Josie. You've seen life. I know by the look of it in your face. And you, and you, you went through a lot. We did. We all did. Tell me, what, what's, what's your secret? What would you say to a couple of these that are young? Well, to be true to each other, I forget everybody else, them first, and everyone else after that. Did you hear that? Sweet Jesus, that's brilliant. I must remember that for every other wedding. Every, your first and then everyone else after that. 
Put them here, yeah. Now, this is my other granny. The, the, what's this lady's name? Elizabeth, Elizabeth, did you go through much in your life? Did you lose any, had you any troubles? Sickness at the end. But other than that, Because right? I tell you, when you're starting off like these, they don't really know all the trials and tribulations that comes, you know? So, what advice would you Just keep going, bear with one another. Keep going and bear with one Keep going. Yeah, that's the secret, yeah. So that is the secret, really. And that's the, so you should listen to these people because they know life really. They've been through it and they know what it all is. So my prayer for you today is that, as that woman said, that you put yourselves first, that you are the most important people. And secondly, as the other granny said, to keep going. How long are you together now? Four years, and you have a little girl there, a lovely little girl. Like that. And like, you will come across, like the saw doctors, you never, did you ever hear the saw doctors? The band over in the west of Ireland, they had a hit song one time called Red Cortina. And there was a line in it, there was a line in it which said, first love lasts forever. Not true. Love can grow or love can fade. And my prayer is that God will continue to help you for your love to grow. Is that okay? So are you happy to go ahead, Gran, yeah? Are you happy? Uh, come on up, so and do the vows. So you're up here, and the best man to write you, you're up as well. Because you're the back, yeah. Uh, face out. The vows. Go down a little bit there so we, you won't be blocking the view. Uh, dear children of God, you have come to this church so that the Lord may seal your love in the presence of me, the priest, and this community. Christian marriage is a sacred union which enriches natural love. It binds those who enter it to be faithful to each other forever. Let her on up, let her on up. Bring her on up, bring her on, bring her on up. You two come on up. Let her, tell her to come up. Let her on, let, yeah, tell her, come on up, yeah. yeah. Good girl, bring her on up, good girl, because she's part of the family. No, she can come on up to Granny. Yeah, come on up here now. Bring her up here, because it's important that she's part of it. Yeah, just hold her there now, yeah, that's it now. Dear children of God, you've come to this church so that the Lord may seal your love and the presence of me, the priest, and this community. Christian marriage is a sacred union which enriches natural love. It binds those to enter it to be faithful to each other forever, and it creates between them a bond that endures for life and cannot be broken. It demands that they love and honor each other, that they accept from God the kingdom, the children that they may give them, and keep them in his love, to help them in their marriage. Husband and wife received the lifelong grace of the sacrament. So, Grania, is this your understanding of marriage? It is. Is this your It is. So then you just join hands and you face out, because that will not... Yeah. No, she's going this side, this one. Usually better with the women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she's got to man. Yeah. <laughs> so you just join hands here in the middle now. Face out now. And you have to say after me, I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. Aaron, do you take Rania as your wife? I for do. better? No, wait till I say it. <laughs> <laughs> He's very enthusiastic. Wait till I say it a few words at you, eh? <laughs> Aaron, do you take... Now look at her, not me, because it's her you're marrying. Aaron, do you take Rania as your wife? For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. I do. Grania, do you take Aaron as your husband? For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of your life. I do. What God joins together, man must not separate. 
May the Lord confirm the consent that you've given and enrich you with his blessings. Now there's two girls going to bring up the rings. You go down and get the rings, girls. Yeah. You need to be here. Yes. <laughs> you need to be here. Yeah, yeah, for the rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Wave it. Oh, she's all right. Just she's let her play right. around. Just yeah, leave her alone. No, leave her alone. Let her do her own thing. She's all right. You don't worry about her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just take the rings. Come on up, good girl. Rachel. No, no. Rachel, come on up here, Rachel. Good girl. Now, Carol, you come on up beside me, Rachel. Good girl. Come on up here now, Rachel, up to the middle. Now, Rachel, these are the rings, right? Now, they're tied, so we have to open it. Now, this is... Now, you're all right. This is Granny's one, right? So you take that ring in your hand. All right. Oh. <laughs> take her hand. Now wait till I say the words. <laughs> <laughs> you say, Grania. Grania. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a sign of our faithful love. As a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, start with this finger. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. With the ring. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's it. Now we have to get another ring, good girl. Now this is Aaron's ring. Now you have to repeat after me. Aaron. Aaron. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a sign of our faithful love. As a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy and Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay. That's right. That right. Nola. Now Nola, why do they exchange rings? As a symbol of eternal love. Correct. Well done. Well done Nola, yeah. Now, the next thing is, why is the ring Endless love, yeah, that's right, yeah, endless love. So there's, so that's why they exchange the rings. So now the next thing then is the lighting of the, oh no, at that stage then, exchange rings. The next thing then is, uh, we have to say the prayer of the newly married couple. So rather than them saying it on their own, we all stand and say it with them. So we'll just say this prayer, it's called the prayer, we'll all have to say it. So you can start off by saying it there yourselves. Have you got it in the book? So we'll all say it. So we say, we thank you, Lord. I'm waiting on you to say it. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you for bringing us to this happy day. You have given us to each other. Now together we give ourselves to you. We ask you, Lord, make us one in our love and keep us one in your peace. Who should be saying it? Protect our marriage, bless our home, make us gentle and keep us faithful. And when life is over, when life is over when life is unite us again where parting is no more in the kingdom of your love. And then we will praise you in the happiness and peace of our eternal home. Okay. Now you're married, so you can kiss the bride there now. anyone here today Alex? No, because whoever he is he's boxing above his weight. <laughs> for Aaron and Grania that the Lord who has brought them to this happy day keep them forever in fidelity and love. Lord Terps. Lord Grace, step aside. Now over here, now there's a Nicola Ralph if she's here. 
Nicola, well done, Nicola. Now, Nicola, you're praying, you're praying for all the parents. You have a big one as well. Well done, Nicola. Picture especially. Well done, Nicola. Thank you. For the parents of Aaron and Grania, for their friends and all who have helped them become husband and wife, Lord hear us. Now, who else have we? And Anne Finnegan, is it? No. David Reed is going to do that. Oh, sweet Jesus. We have a so first sub. We have a blood sub in. <laughs> You're a blood sub, David. That the Lord may bless the world with his peace and protection of his love. Lord hear us. Callahan. Is he here? Okay. Stephen, I'm afraid you're praying for everyone who can't be here today. So you're representing all those people, Stephen. For those close to us who cannot be here today, that they may join in our celebration wherever they may be. Lord Harris. Now the two mammas bring the gifts of bread and wine to the altar. Mam, go down and get the gifts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Now together, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ May we be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop. Remember also all our brothers and sisters. I will spare a moment now for anyone in either, any of your families that has died.
Bring them and all the departed in the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. So we'll all stand. We'll go down now to the middle. You can rest. Okay. So we have to now come down here to this spot here, this spot where we get everyone to gather around yourselves. Just come in around there now. Yeah, and you can, girls, you come in around there at the back. Because what we have to do now is we have to say the prayer, especially uh, you're all right where you are. Cause, and you can turn, come around here, the rest of them, just come down this way. Take out the seats there now and come around here. What's your dad's name again? Brian, come down here. We say the Our Father together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now what we have is called the nuptial blessing. So what we all have to do is we have to put our hands, come into the middle here, you, you two. We have to put our hands out like this. Joe, the nuptial blessing. And we have to say this blessing over them. That's good. Excellent. Let us humbly invoke our prayers, dear brothers and sisters, for Grania and for Aaron. May God's blessing come upon Grania, the bride, the, and Aaron, the groom that in his kindness he may favour with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image, and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for those, for those your servants whom you have joined today in the sacrament of marriage. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come upon this bride, Grania, and upon Aaron, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gifts of marriage, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness may they praise you, O Lord, in sorrow may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their work and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the Holy Assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with a circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. So you just offer each other a sign of peace there. Where are you from yourself? Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world of mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God. This is Jesus who today has brought such joy to Aaron and to Gronje in the sacrament of marriage. And how happy are we that are called to a supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul should be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. The of Christ from us all for last So if there's a Eucharistic minister present that could just come forward, if not, I'll work away myself. But if there's someone here who's a Eucharistic minister, normally if you could just come up. And for communion, what happens is the bride and groom receive first. Uh, they receive under both species the bread and the wine, along with the bridal party which is yourselves, and then everyone else stay in your seats. And what I'll do is, I'll go down to you. Is that okay? And if anyone wants to receive, just remain standing. And if you don't, you'll just stay seated. I want to thank those who did the readings today. Uh, that was um, uh, who did the readings? Who did the readings? David and so, yeah. and then I want to thank Alex for doing the prayers of the faithful and Nicola and uh, and Nahan Finnegan because she didn't wasn't here. Stephen Callahan, yeah, and there was a standing. There was a blood sub there, uh, David as well. So I want to thank uh, the old oh, cheapers. I made a mistake. Ken Stack and Aileen Stack were to bring up the offerings, were they? Where are they? And where's Ken? Sorry about that, Ken and Aileen. I got the two mammies to do it, but it was you who were to do it. <sighs> Sorry about that, Aileen and Ken. I want to thank our beautiful singers today, uh, uh, Arlene and Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, Gordon. Gordon is a Kildare man, and uh, he's a is a, a good Kildare Kildare town man. And Arlene, I want to thank Joe. Joe, he's from Cool Rain, and he did a great job, Joe on. The thing today so well done Joe you wouldn't even know you were here you know which is a great sign it's like a sign of a good ref when you know that he's not even reffing the game so you did excellent today Joe in the sense of being so unintrusive and yet getting all your photographs so thanks for that but most of all thanks to all of you for entering into the, the mass so well today so the Lord be with you and may Almighty God bless you all the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit this Mass has ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Maybe. Maybe we are supposed to meet the wrong people before meeting the right ones. So that when we finally meet the right person, we will know how to be grateful for that gift. Maybe it is true that we don't know what we have got until we lose it. But it's also true that we don't know what we have been missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't necessarily have the best of everything, they just make the most of everything that comes along their way. And maybe the best kind of love is the kind where you can sit on the sofa together, never say a word, and then walk away feeling that it was the best conversation you've ever had. Maybe you shouldn't go for looks, they can deceive. Don't go for wealth, even that fades away. Go for someone who will make you smile because it takes only a smile to make a dark day seem bright. 
Maybe you should hope for enough happiness to make you sweet, enough trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, and enough hope to make you happy. Maybe love is not about finding the perfect person, it's about learning to see the imperfect person perfectly. When you do what you can, love will do what you can't. When the rain's blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I would offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear there is no one to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love No, you haven't made your mind up yet But I would never do Known it from the moment that we met. So no doubt in my mind where you belong. I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue. I'd go crawling down the avenue. There ain't nothing. Make you feel my love Storms are raging on a rolling sea Down the highway of regret The winds of change are blowing wild and free But you ain't seen nothing like me There ain't nothing that I would do Go to the ends of the earth for you Make you happy, make your dreams come true To make you feel
Nobody 